Good morning, my name is Jack Stewart. I'm an AMP IA, and I kind of specialize in these old Stinson with Franklin engines in them. And this morning we're going to talk about adjusting the valves. <clears throat> There's some confusion on adjusting valves. Number one, we have all the top spark plugs out to make the engine safe. So if we move the propeller, it won't fire. There's no compression. So the engine is safe. We don't have to worry about getting anybody hurt. And the second thing is, you have to bleed the lifters down to adjust the valves. And I just made a simple tool here. It's just a little cheap pry bar. And it's a 5 8 wrench welded on the end of it. And it's all smoothed off so it won't do any damage to the rocker arms. And you simply hook it over the rocker arm like this. And if the engine's been running, the oil will be pumped up inside the lifter. So you don't have to pry hard, just gently and you can actually watch the rocker arm come away from the valve. And the book says 40 thousandths. So I put a 30 feeler gauge and a 10 thousandths feeler gauge together. And we just shove it right down in here and it don't fit. Ah, that valve's too tight. So we just take it, I've already got the adjusting knot, the lock nut loose. Let's take a screwdriver here, back it off a little bit, check it in. This is something you want to do with patience, take your time. Okay, I feel a little drag but I actually backed it off a little too much, so I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit. Now if you've got a helper, he can be sliding the feeler gauge in and out while you're adjusting the nut. Okay. That's pretty good, actually, just a little too tight. And back it up just a couple of thousands. All right. Now release that, and you notice how that rocker arm snapped down on the valve when you release it. There's a spring inside the valve lifter. So what we're going to do is you have to make sure that you hold that adjusting nut, the adjusting uh, screw, in the right place when you tighten up the lock nut. It would help if I'd have the right size. All right. Now we'll check it again. Make sure our measurement didn't move. Pretty good. Franklin's real specific about this. If you don't, uh, if you don't have that on forty thousandths, I guarantee you your engine won't run right. I run. Ask the guy that owned this airplane. Thanks. <laughs> All right, that one's a little loose. I'm going to tighten that up just a little. Not much. Here's our feeler gauge again. All right, that's pretty good. Now, this not only works on Franklin engines, Continental advises you to do the same thing. Bleed the lifters down is what they call this. And all you're doing is pushing the oil out of the lifters. Uh, the last IA seminar I attended, a guy was telling me, oh, that's awful hard to do. He sticks a welding rod down in there, down in the push rod to bleed the lifters down. You don't have to do that. If you use this tool and go about it nice and slow, you can actually watch the oil go out of the lifters. Now we're going to check it again. Check, double check. Actually, that needs to be tightened up just a fraction. So, hold your adjusting screw, loosen up that lock nut, 
turn that screw just a little bit. That's better. Forty thousandths. Now, this happens to be cylinder number four, and it's easy if you do it in the firing order. One, four, five, two, three, six. So, four, we're going to do number five on the other side next. All you have to do is turn the propeller until you hear the impulse couplings click. Hundred and twenty degrees. Six cylinders fire over hundred and twenty degrees. If it was a four cylinder, which it's not, it'd be hundred and eighty degrees, of course. And we we'll probably edit that part out. Anyway, now you'll notice that this valve here now is closed. Or I mean I'm sorry, open. This is the intake valve and it's starting to open. But the exhaust is still loose. And uh, number five then is ready to adjust. So we're gonna move around there to adjust number five.